All right, guys, there you go. Rudy Carra versus Marcos Rodriguez. Rudy on the snap. And there it is. Six ball goes down. I sure hope that's an improvement uh, in the picture, at least. And Rudy got a shot on the one here. And rejected. Marcos now, if you don't know, is a very good player. He plays at Good Times Billiards in Van Nuys, where they have three and seven eighth inch pockets, and he does a lot of practice on these tight pockets. And uh, Marcos not proving his uh, worth here. But I'm sure you're going to see a good performance from him. Not sure if that four ball goes past the five ball there in the corner pocket. Looks like it does. And he's playing position for it. And it doesn't look like Marcus has any trouble with the rest of this rack. And I think it's probably going to be 1-0. Going Marcos's way. And that'll be it. 1-0. Marcos gets on the wire. So race to eight, guys. Even race. Okay, dry break. Rudy doesn't have much of a shot, but he might try to bank it. Well, I think he was 
bank safing, and he did a good job. He almost scratched there in the corner pocket. So Marcos is kicking. Good hit. Barbara, can I get a cup of coffee? Yeah. <laughs> get Ken in here. Get Ken over here. Uh, Rudy trying to stun the cue ball to his desired position, and he, he gets there. He's got a tight table to play with here, uh, but he's a pretty good one-pocket player, so I don't think he's going to have too much trouble trying to dissect this rack. Got some customers walking in here, slightly distracting the uh, the game. So Ron takes a second. Looks like a four-seven combo to the side pocket. Good work there. Bob Young from uh, NWB is going to join me. He's a player. Uh, we also like to call him Nine Ball Bob. How you doing there, Bob? Good afternoon, Daniel. So, uh, Rudy and Marcos, who do you like here? Ooh. I, uh, I pick Marcos. Marcos, you think a little bit better? Marcus. Well, I think he's uh, slower and more uh, deliberate, and I think it'll pay off in the end. That's I agree. my call. That's I agree. my call. I agree. Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell everybody, well, why do you call yourself Nine Ball Bob? Or why do people call you Nine Ball Bob? <laughs> because I, uh, I like to shoot the nine ahead of order. Uh, ahead of schedule? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. I, uh, uh, well, mm -hmm. you, you do a pretty good job of it, don't you? Well, because I practice more than anybody else at combos. At it. And you practice yeah, at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. And it's not just combos. It's caroms. It's yeah. kicks and kicks. And kicks. And yeah, 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 yeah. All kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, are you still in this event? Did you? No, I'm not. No? Uh, no. Okay. Marcos. Surprising uh, the crowd here with a, a miss to the side pocket. How you doing, Daniel? You I'm, doing I'm good. Uh, pool stats guy Don Espinosa is making a comment about you in the chat room, saying he remembers the last time that you were on the stream table after the break. Uh, I had said something like, well, he made a ball on the break and a shot on the nine. <laughs> 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 something to that effect. <laughs> I'm doing good, you know. Been very busy. Going to be going up to Mountain View to do the West Coast Challenge event. Listen, aren't they doing something up there this weekend? Oh, that's the Women's State Championship. Okay, yeah. okay. That's going on right now. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my love. The barbecue bringing me some hot streaming coffee. A little too hot for me, but... Um, yeah, the Women's State Championship's going on right now up there, but... Uh, 
uh, all the boys will be up there too following that event. And all new tables up there. Oscar and Ernesto Dominguez did all the all the the That's felt over there on those tables. Well, that'll attract players just with that knowledge. Yes. <coughs> uh, so they're playing next weekend up there. When are you going up there? Um, they're playing Wednesday. Okay. Huh. Is the food ready? Okay. After this rack, uh, you will be joined by Ken Elton. Bob, is that okay? Can I, yeah. can I responsibly leave you guys alone to... We'll behave responsibly. To man the uh, booth here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to turn the volume down, and Bob is going to commentate the rest of this game. I have to do a little tutorial with Ken. Okay. While the game's going on, you want to monitor the chat, so you put this window back, okay? The internet. So that's the software that you use to change the CBC. CBC, yeah. And right behind it is the internet, okay? okay? And then when you get back to, get back to CBC, come up here. Internet, CBC. Yeah, don't close or minimize them, just keep them like that. All right. Thank you, Daniel. Well, hey, Bob. Welcome, how welcome are you? aboard, Ken. Thanks. So how'd you do? I uh, lost uh, eight to six. <laughs> oh. But I had a good match, a good afternoon. Enjoyed good. myself. Well, good. I'm glad to hear it. Mm -hmm. Looks like I really uh, got a pretty smooth run out here. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't be any problem. This is a home game for Rudy, isn't it? Yes, this it is. is. He's, he's this, like this. the uh, house pro here at their plush pocket. Yeah, so... But Marcos mm -hmm. is no slouch, let me tell you. No. But Rudy's comfortable here, for sure. We're going to oh, get yeah. his best game. Could have hit that one just a little harder. A little slow. 
I don't think he's going to try to shoot this in. He's going to safety this one, isn't he? I don't know. He's a you know he's a notorious one pocket player. So. If he's anywhere down near those those far pockets, he pretty much makes them where he wants. See what he I mean? Got a nice shot. I think he's up two, two zip. I think it's two to one right now. Two to one, Rudy. We have uh, Wayne Pullen and James Burden matched up, coming up in a match. Uh, they're they're actually him. playing down on table ten, and uh, James is on the hill, and Wayne has, I believe, five. Wow. Yes. <laughs> James is on the hill, and I think <laughs> Wayne is breaking right now. So that means he won. No, it's 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 still a uh, hill five, James. That's a lot of pressure when you get on the hill. You, you want to close, close out. The, you yeah, want to close do. it out, it's and then something. Every time he wins a game, <laughs> you get more and more frightened. Yeah. That was a good kick by Rudy mm -hmm. right there. He was he was hooked pretty bad. Marcos come to the table. There's, there's no real problem balls. Maybe that five ball a little bit, but but not too much. Oops. What happened to Jenny Lee? Is she still is she still playing? Hmm? What happened to Jenny Lee? Is she still? She I still think playing? she's still in. I believe she's still in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I think she's back on table seventeen in the back, back there, corner in the back corner of the building. Yeah, she's playing uh, Mr. Jones, Dave Jones, I believe. Oh, oh there's Rudy. a scratch. Oh. Oh, this should now Marcos is going to get his first opportunity in this match. Uh, he has a game already, <laughs> yeah. but he's going to. Uh, I don't see a lot of problems except for that five ball. That's just a little tricky. Not just a difficult shot, but it's just if you run it down to the the far corner. Uh, he's uh, he's going to go for the side pocket. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, for the five ball. Yeah. Get the shape on the four to run the five down in the corner. Yeah. You know, in the far corner, and then make the six. This Marcos has such a smooth stroke. Got the perfect shape mm -hmm. on that. Well, wow. that's a tough shot, though. It's yeah. still tough. I'm, I'm telling you, it was <laughs> it wasn't an easy shot, but it's the only tricky one on the table. When he gets past this, he's out. You got it. Punches that in with authority, didn't he? He did. <laughs> It's probably the only way to shoot that shot. You, <laughs> you know just what? Whack it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! Get lucky. Did he get lucky? He, he got did. lucky. He did. I'd like to thank Daniel and Barbara for uh, 
and POV Pool for doing the stream. They're doing a great job. And don't forget, uh, you know, if you want to make a donation, just go to POV, POV Pool and click Donate and help these guys out so they can get another camera, you know? Nice. I was just told if you make a donation to the POV Pool, $25 or more, you get a Kamui tip. Ooh. Kamui tip. Wow, he got it. What a, a voucher for a Kamui tip. What a deal. So you help out POV Pool and you get yourself a quality tip. Okay, now we got a match. We got a match now, Ken. All righty. Mm -hmm. Two to one. No, it's uh, two to two to two. Oh. Marcos has a pretty strong break, too. Yeah. He just parks that cue ball, you know. In the middle of the table, yeah. which is the way the pros like to do it. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. And he's got a shot on the one. From So what do you think, Bob? You think he's out? Well, I thought that was a mistake, <laughs> chasing that six clear on the yeah. other of the table. I don't think he got hurt, you know. <laughs> he didn't get hurt, but... Uh, no. He's got to stop the ball. There and he may even draw it back. Yeah. So he can mm -hmm. get on this side of the seven to go down for the eight, put mm -hmm. the seven in the side. Mm -hmm. That was the perfect shot. Yep. That was right where he wants. Now he can go down and back. <clears throat> yep. See, I would have went in the side. I wouldn't have taken that yeah. risk. And he, he's more comfortable than I am. Yeah. He, got, he knew he knew what to do there. It's a pretty, pretty quick rack right here. Mm -hmm. now he's going to follow this shot, isn't he? Hey, how you doing, Joe? He's going to follow this yeah. shot and get over by yeah. the side pocket? Yeah. A little bit of left English. Mm -hmm. oh, oh boy, he just hit that one bad. Going to the side pocket. Wow. He's got he must have been straighter than I thought. Yeah, yeah, that. he's got a little bit of a cut. But he'll leave it good if he misses. Fairly not bad. Nice. 
Nice, good out, mm -hmm. good out. For all you viewer, viewers that don't know, first place is one thousand dollars. Yes, it is. And and what's what's the second place prize? Can you can you see that board over there? I think it's uh usually five hundred. Huh? I think five. Usually cut it in half, five hundred. You know what? I'll have to, I'll have to check to see. Yeah. Okay. Second place is 450. Mm. Third, fourth is 225. Fifth through eighth is 125, and ninth through sixteenth is fifty dollars. We got and some the, people already in the money already. And the entry fee was only twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars. Yep. Had a pretty full field. We had uh, 64 players today. Mm -hmm. Bob Bulio is in the room. Hey, Bob, this is Ken from New World Billiards. How you doing? We're taking a, Daniel's taking a break. He's having some dinner over there with uh, Barbara. Bob Bulio? Yeah, from, yes, uh-huh. You were up there playing in his term. Yeah, Didn't you play up there? Him, so. Yeah. The World Pool Players Association. Nice mm -hmm. guy. He's got a That's great... That's what his t-shirt is. Oh, he... he I got his t-shirt on. Yeah, I got Bob... his tournament here. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was, it was a real good showing, Bob. Uh, and I got Bob Young here wearing your uh, World PPA Sands event. Uh, what was it? The Grand Sierra. Grand Sierra event. Yeah. I heard you had a good turnout up there. Uh, Rudy Carras is making short work of this rack. <laughs> the lucky Bob, he says. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the man. You know the man. Hey, he asked if you did you win that shirt? No, no, I purchased it. No, he says he bought it. Mm -hmm. All right, Rudy takes it down, ties up the match. Nice. A little something to look at. <laughs> all right, this match is all tied up at 3 3 now. Rudy Carraz taking the break. He's rolling that Whoa. nine ball, but no, it did not go. But the nine doesn't count on the break. Doesn't, does not count on the break. It does not. <laughs> I 
I haven't seen any nines on the break today. <laughs> so, oh, it's a definite full size table, Bob. Yeah. Yeah, there's a. It's four and a half by nine. Probably a lot of viewers that don't know that a four and a half by nine is a 50 by 100 playing area. They count you know, I didn't know that myself. Four and a half by nine is counting the outside of the cushion. Ah. Mm -hmm. Two inches so, each side. So where do you get all this information? Hmm? You're just a plethora of information. Where do you yeah. get it all? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that bank. I'm hmm. telling you, that really is a one pocket player from long back and... Twins. If you guys put your heads together, you look like a. <laughs> Rudy got a little close to that five ball. He's not very happy about that. Hmm? That five ball go in this corner. <laughs> oh, that'd be a tough cut to get it over here. Yeah, it looks like it's riding straight you, at the you, diamond. You mean this? The problem is you're hitting the ball on the blind side. But look, look. Yeah. He, he, he played the safety. safe. He did play for the safe. And he, not a bad one. Marcos can actually cut this five. Yeah. I got them. I'm wearing them. <laughs> wow. Marco said, but missed that one by half a diamond <laughs> and got lucky. Uh, I would, my guess would be Rudy's thinking about a. a one rail, one rail bank, I'm telling you. Ooh. One, one rail bank in the corner, just because that's what he does. He went for the nine. Wow. <laughs> Who's he think he is? Uh. <laughs> <coughs> straight on the seven a little hard to get shape on the eight yeah but marco's pretty good at this he'll probably get it whoa all wow. right that's, he leaves the door that's open a bad for, miss for rudy but it's rudy's down the middle rudy jumped off his chair to get yeah. back to the table
I don't know what to do with this except bring the seven back to this end of the table and don't try to make it. I think he's going to go seven in the corner, two rails. Oh, boy, see? That's what I know. That was an excellent shot. Two rails. thing to do. Now Marcos is jumping out of his chair. <laughs> is that four to three Marco now? Yes, it is. Four to three, Marcos. I'm gonna. You gonna do this? Looks like Marco's break is dry. Four, four three Marcos, yeah. Now well, Rudy's back at it again, not letting that miss on the nine ball slow him down too much, which is a good thing. We'll see how he does with a three. He's got to have a good roll. <laughs> That's mm, pretty good because. That's his uh, Poolaholic over here, these t shirts he's yeah. selling. Yeah. That's his line. That's his product. He has a patent on it. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, good for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rudy just hooked himself behind the six. Or when the wheels fall off, they just fall off, don't they? I'd like to see a Poolaholic shirts with New World Diggers on it, logo on the like, sleeve. I'd like to see that too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mr. Yee mm -hmm. just walked into the house. Mm -hmm. He's the owner of this pool hall. Steve Yee. Our thanks go out to him for allowing us to host it here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Marcos has ball in hand. Mm -hmm. I don't see a lot of problems with this rack. No, I've watched uh, Marco play a lot of games and this is a pretty easy rack for him. Yep. He should yep. be able to control this. <laughs> Ron, you don't have a score on uh, Jenny's match down there, do you? Would you? Yeah, if, if you if you're in the neighborhood. Nice. That's always fun. Ah, uh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. It's on. Uh, Now 
what's this? What's Marco going to do? Is he going to stop the ball? Looks like he's going to go to the cushion and back to get shape on the seven. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They sure did. Oh! <laughs> Okay, Marco's got it. Welcome back, Mr. Daniel Bush. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks to Ken Elton for stepping in for me while I get some pot stickers next door from this place. All right, Marcos. Whoa. Whoa. Five to three. A little close for comfort there, but <laughs> Marcos takes down another one, and it's going to be five, three. Race to eight, folks. Even race. They started out zero, zero. <laughs> it sure did. Well, you know, sometimes you start out three, zero here yeah, when, you, right. oh. when you play someone really good. Oh. So you having fun here? today i sure am and are you we going up a lot, a lot of good players here today. yeah have you decided if you're going to go up to mountain view well if i can get uh, uh three people in my uh car to go up with me i'll go up there right yeah mm -hmm. that way we can trade off the driving and it's not a big effort for either one of us sure sure mm -hmm. So we got a open rack, well, open break here, dry break, but uh, this is going to be tough, huh? First person with a uh, shot on the one is going to have a hard time getting to the two. So Rudy decides to whack at the nine and makes the one, and now he's got trouble. The two ball there is stuck behind the seven. That'll work. Rudy takes no time <laughs> and leaves Marcos with a combo shot. Two four combo. You'd go for this, but I don't know if Marcos <laughs> is. <laughs> Ooh, he's okay. Jenny's Excellent. up against. Gary uh, Jones is playing Jenny Lee, and uh, Jenny Lee's winning 6 4. 20, 20 and 20 of these, uh, of the 64 player field, 20 of the matches go. have gone almost till hill, hill, 8 6 or 8 7. Okay. Five of them went 8 7. James beat Wayne Pullen. 15 of them went 8 6. He beat him. Very close handicapping huh? system here. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like James Burden beat Wayne Pullen. He'll move up the ladder. Wow, six nice 2 9 combo there. 6 to 3. That changed the game. <laughs> yeah, we should finish this match. We'll finish the match, okay. 6 to 3 against Marcos <laughs> Rodriguez 
And we are here at the beautiful Plush Pocket in Northridge, California, enjoying uh, these wonderful matches on 17 beautiful Olhausen's. Going to finish this match. Uh, yeah. Steve Two takes very days. good care of his tables. 6 3, yeah. And uh, there's beer and we're, food we're, here. Whatever you, we decide. I'll, I'll go along with it. And uh, beautiful air conditioning. It's really cool up in here. Even with okay. all these people yeah, here today, to watch it. it's yeah. really nice and cool. So if you guys are looking for a pool hall, rush to plush. Rush to plush. That's right, plush pocket in Northridge. <clears throat> they got a few bar boxes here too, and they do APA here every month, every week. What's that? You both have the same brand here? Camels? <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you smoke? You don't smoke? No. That was my dad's cigarette. Though. Oh, <laughs> I see. <Ooh. laughs> yeah, well, you know, I've, I've, I've got very few vices left, and that's one of them. So they don't come straight. They come. They can only get camels with filters these days, right? Yeah, these yeah. days. Yeah. No jailhouse cigarettes for me. <laughs> well, uh, I can tell you something about my dad. He smoked camel cigarettes, and when he wanted to cut back on his smoking, you know what he smoked? Paul Malls. Paul Malls. <laughs> that was cutting back for him. Those are even longer <laughs> than uh, camel non-filters. Yeah. Yeah. I remember my, my, my mom had a boyfriend that was smoked Paul Malls, and I'd steal his <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> All right, well, oh. Rudy attempts uh, mm. somewhat of a cross cuts, cross bank safety mm. there. <laughs> and uh, this is a little bit out of, uh, out of form for Rudy. Being a one pocket player and all, you'd think. Mm -hmm. And he and this is actually one of the tables he knows how to play too. <laughs> Bleed pool in the chat room mentioning that Jerry, Jerry Matchin <laughs> smokes filterless camels. <laughs> Jerry Matchin's the owner of Sticks Billiards in uh, Ventura. Mm. Oh, of course I know Jerry. Yeah, Jerry, he's a great guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Joined me in the uh, mm -hmm. commentary about uh, two weeks ago at Sal Butera's pool hall. Hmm. All right, we got a little safety battle here. Yeah, he's going to have a trouble just hitting the ball here. Safety battle. Oh, oh another safety. Look at this, right behind it. You know what? Mm -hmm. That's about as good as you can hit <laughs> that ball. That's as good as you can get. I think Got him he, I'm gonna behind go, the eight. I'm going to go to this cushion to hit the five, I think. Yeah, cushion mm -hmm. first. Yeah. Oh, he's going, uh, you know, that's not a bad way to do it either. Right. It's easier. Uh, but is he going to get, he might get rewarded here. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Uh. Well, Rudy's just got to cut this in and roll off the nine ball. He should have a perfect a shot. I want a safety. He here. should have a perfect shot on the six in the same I, I corner. I want a safety. I want him to do a safety. I think if he just rolls off the up, oh, yep. You want him to do a safety when, <laughs> when all I've ever seen you do is <laughs> whack at it. <laughs> it looked it looked easy enough to get to the side of the six on the cushion there. Mm -hmm. Incidentally, uh, Don Espinoza will be in Los Angeles uh, during the Hard Times 10 ball event. I would imagine he's definitely going to spend some time with us here at Bellflower. When's your birthday, Don? He's in the chat room. Five ten, May tenth. Oh, good. well, you'll you'll be back home in time for your birthday, won't you? Or are you gonna stay? 
You gonna stay with us? We'll put you up on the... We got a bed for you. For a couple days. Whoa, uh -oh, nice uh -oh. shot. Wow. All right, all the Rudy Carrar supporters. It is all now six to four. All three of them clapping profusely. <laughs> <laughs> six games to four. And incidentally, my next event will be less than a week from now, folks, at the California Billiard Club, April 25th through 29th. $4,000 added one pocket. $10,000 added 10 ball. That's right, kids. Live streaming brought to you by POB oh. Pool and Fast Lenny. AZ Billiards will be providing a seamless split screen stream window for you guys to watch both streams simultaneously with two chat rooms as well. Lots of great players lined up for those events, for that event. We've got Darren Appleton, Ooh. Raj Hundal, Rodney Darren Morris, Oscar and Ernesto. Team Mexico is going to be up there. How about Eric Strickland and Johnny Archer? Earl Strickland? Earl Strickland. <laughs> uh, Johnny Archer is on a, uh, an exhibition with Nick Varner right now. They're going all over California. Oh, <clears throat> doing exhibitions, to tell you the truth. So mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to make it for that one. They'll be in Riverside, I think, uh, doing an exhibition. How about Shane Van Bonen? Shane will not be at California <laughs> Billiard Club, but he will be at the Hard Times 10-ball event. Mm. So you don't seem very shy about uh, commentating, Bob. Well, I'm a lifelong pool player. Why wouldn't I be comfortable with other pool players? You'd be surprised. <laughs> there are dozens of people who are uh, real good at woofing at other pool players. But then when it comes time to, like, uh, putting a microphone on them, they freeze well, up. Well, Teddy. Uh, Teddy is one of those guys. You know, he... He tells jokes all day long, but then you put him on a put a microphone on him, and he can't stand well, still, sit still for more than two minutes. Uh, well, you mentioned roofing. I'm also a roofer. And a, a woofer. That's right. A and, woof that, <laughs> and, and when you do roofing, that covers everything. <laughs> You're a roofer. <laughs> that covers everything. <laughs> Speaking of jokes. <laughs> All right, folks. Shot on the three ball. Nothing really to write home to or write home about. Yeah, Brandon Schuff, he should be up there at the uh, California Billiard Club, if not at the Hard Times event. Uh, you said Appleton's going to be up there. Darren Appleton's and going. What, what can you tell us about all the, the other European pool players like Rolf, Mika Imonen? Are they uh, any chance of them? No, I haven't. Being uh, in California, I haven't. Uh, I haven't had any word about those guys. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the only British 
contingents are the Raj, Handal, and Darren. Yeah. The British are coming. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Who said the British are coming? Oh, Paul Revere. There you go. Yeah. <clears throat> What do you say? Once by land and twice by water? I think mm -hmm. so. That was the waving of the lantern? Yeah. Uh, Incidentally, guys, I got I got a couple items to give away on the stream. I want to give away a, uh, your choice of a Cabo Tequila T-shirt or a Cabo Tequila hat. Um, the score right now is six to four, Marcos. Yes. Even game. Okay. So. For those of you in the chat room, I'm sure you don't know anything about the NWB, but I'm going to tell you what the NWB is. The NWB is New World Billiards, and basically is... Uh, yeah. Six Four Marco. And basically is the organization that formed right after this whole sort of like controversy with the USPPA started. So the same guys that were running the USPPA down here, Ron Wishnack and Ken Elton and Bob Young too. You were you were pretty involved with the USPPA. That's correct. I, uh, I participate as much as I possibly can. Well, basically these guys got together and they decided, <coughs> let's start a new organization. And they started New World Billiards. And so it, for those of you in the chat room who can answer correctly, what month and year did New World Billiards begin? <laughs> Boy, I have no clue there. I guess uh, yeah. I'd guess about a year ago, but I would know. Other than that, I would know. What month <laughs> and year did New World Billiards begin? Uh, that's a that's a trivia question. If there ever was one, absolutely, <laughs> that ought to win a good prize. Well, it's it's either a T-shirt or a baseball hat, so you know you don't have to answer the question. What month and year did New World Billiards begin? while Rudy catches up. What happened here? Is it uh, 6 to 5? It is 6.05. No, he did good. You done good, son. But you like, you like Marco in this match, right? If I was betting, I would... It's very close between the two. You have to pick one over the other. When you have to pick, I pick Marcos. I, I agree with you. Marcos yeah. is pretty damn strong. Yeah, you know? yeah. He plays on those three and seven eighths inch pockets over at good times. Yeah. What month and year did New World Billiards finally mm -hmm. form as a result of the controversy with the USPPA? <laughs> When did that happen, the USPPA thing? It's been two years, two years ago. 2010 that happened, right? Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. basically it was a Reno event and there was $5,000 unspoken for, wasn't there? That's right. And uh, uh, if you want a little more trivia, you like asking trivia questions? Who's the one that won the most money that year up in Reno and actually put the money in his pocket. I'm not talking about the players that won that didn't get paid. I'm talking about the players that put money in their pocket. Who was the big winner? <laughs> huh? Yeah, six five? Yes. Six five, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> no worries. Uh, but for. For the t-shirt or the baseball cap, you're going to have to answer which year and month did the NWB form 
as a result of something that happened two years ago in the uh, USPPA at a Reno event where a lot of players didn't get paid. The guys down here running the USPPA decided, you know what, let's just take our thing and make a new organization. And well, <coughs> a little trivia for the viewers. Up in Reno two years ago, before the main tournament started, they had a mini tournament that was worth $400 first prize. Oh, yeah. And Bob Young, the person speaking, yeah, you. he was the one that got that $400. No I kidding. I was the big winner two years ago. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> And if you want, if you want some real merchandise, go ahead and donate twenty-five dollars or more to POV Pool, and I'll send you a voucher for a Kamui tip. That voucher can be redeemed at any certified Kamui tip installer. Basically, any tip Q repair person that you know that carries Kamui is already a certified tip installer. Those vouchers are fully redeemable uh, at your installers location and I understand that these tips are better than other tips they last twice as long or five times as long or yeah they last a long time the chalk lasts a long time too <laughs> you know there's eight uh, you can buy eight there's eight variations of the tip eight models ranging from super soft to hard And as far as tips go, they, they're fairly expensive, aren't they? Well, yeah, the tips have a, you know, they, they run at $25 each. So essentially, you're getting even money if you donate to POV Pool. Yeah, the regular you know, You're tips. also helping, you're helping me to uh, continue providing free streams. There you go. There support you go. your streamer. Support, <laughs> support, support the streamer. Support the streamer, man. The streamer needs it. <laughs> All right, Marcos playing a tough cut on the seven here. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Boy, he hit that with a lot of speed. He would have had to shoot mm -hmm. an even harder shot on the eight. Well, we're having a seven ball shot in the corner here that'll make it six to six if he makes this ball. Of course, he's got a running out, but the first shot's the hardest one here. And he went for a safety. Ooh, and that is a good safety. For a Cabo <laughs> Tequila t-shirt or a baseball cap, what year and month did the NWB form? Nice shot. Very good shot. That was a good kick. Tough when you're in jail like that, you know. Hmm? Another hook. Nope, not quite. Another tough shot. a mistake well yeah. I don't know what he was was he playing safe he was trying to get behind the eight ball wasn't he yeah bringing the cue behind well, the eight anywhere ball. but there he wanted the seven anywhere but well, where yeah. it is. <laughs> well look at this guys it's gonna be six to six isn't it mm -hmm. uh, what's his arm what's the armband all about it's a fashion thing <laughs> That's not the tennis elbow know. thing? I don't know what it is. I don't know. Mm -hmm. He could have a muscle problem there. 
That's true. I think Rudy's going to be okay here. He's... <laughs> All right, nine, eight ball goes down. Straight shot on the nine. And I've always made sure lately not to change the score until it has to be changed because I've seen worse mistakes. With mistakes, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, it's six to All six. All right. No, not mm -hmm. November 2011. Come on, guys. What and, uh, year and month did the NWB form? Yeah, stick that in your Google search. Stick that in your Google search and smoke it. have a boy he must have used um, his sand wedge for that one yeah how often does that happen when the game gets tight well it happens way too much yeah And it's 6-6 six, six here. This is a two-game race now. He misses. Marcos misses ball in hand <laughs> like that. Wow. Let's see. Does that help him or hurt him? Gave himself plenty of angle, so he's he's going for the five. All right, guys, we have a winner. We have a winner. I'm just trying to find out which winner it is. Uh, hold on a second. Gosh darn it. Whoop. Let's see. It's uh, Dionan. Ruben's Dionan. Right on top of the, Ruben's right on top of the sixth ball. Dionan 309. You win. Why don't you private message me? And uh, give me your shipping address. Oh, he went for it and he missed. Now is he gonna? He's got it all. Oh, and tell me water. whether or not you want the Cabo T-shirt or the Cabo baseball cap. Marcos has got some easy shots coming up here. He's got to get on the eight after the seven, and it should be okay. Yeah, we can ship to a PO box. Go ahead and um, private message me your uh, shipping address. Uh, yeah, one of the three. Yeah, yeah, there's... Go ahead. Absolutely. Message, message it to me. Private message me on, on uh, Ustream here. And I will... Uh, there you go. Okay, I need your city and zip. And I'd like to know if you want the baseball cap or the t-shirt. Uh, yeah. No worries. Actually, uh... Could you hand me that t-shirt? You might not want the t-shirt after I tell you what size it is. <laughs> extra small, huh? <laughs> it's extra an large. It's an extra large. Oh, that'll go. Everybody wants that. Actually, that's nice cotton. Mm. 
little big, but that's okay. All right, David. David Yonan wins a Cabo Tequila T-shirt. And the score is seven to six. Marcos will be on the hill. Keep an eye out for it, uh, David. We will uh, ship it to you as soon as. Uh, well, I'll, I'll give you the I'll give the shipping uh, information to the tournament director here. Congratulations and thanks for watching POV Pool. Diane, on are you going to be up at the Mountain View event, the California Billiard Club? If so, I'll see you there. Twenty fifth through the 29th. If so, actually, I can just bring the t-shirt with me and give it to you when I see you. Marcos on the hill, huh, Bob? He sure is. But uh, Ruben's right behind him with six. He can get on the hill himself if he... He sure can. He sure enough can. Show enough. Mm -hmm. What he's going to do here. All right, Diana, and I tell you what, I'll just give this to the tournament director and he'll ship it to you. Wow, lucky so, roll by yeah, Ruben. What kind of a hit was that? That was like a... <laughs> he was... By Rudy? He just know? wanted to hit it, and he got a lucky roll. It came clear down to the other end of the table and got behind the five. Right mm -hmm. on. <laughs> so stay tuned, guys. I got another... I got two more trivia questions. coming up to give away merchandise on POV Pool. <clears throat> so keep on watching now, folks. Still got a Cabo Tequila baseball cap to give away. Kind of a cool design. Tequila. The pockets on this table are four and a quarter inches. That's considered tight, isn't it? That's generally mm -hmm. considered tight. That's considered uh, not your typical sports bar. <laughs> basically. That's right. But These are players' mm -hmm. pockets. Uh, uh, they, are old, they are old houses, though. So the, sh the shelf is, a, is not as deep. As like a Brunswick, uh, like a oh, gold, where the ball hangs up in corner. Yeah, looks. like a gold crown three mm -hmm. or a, or a diamond. So the shelf is a little is a little shallower. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and you no, said no, nothing like hard times table. You said the pockets are four and a quarter wide, and the, the balls are two and a quarter. So the, the ball, two balls, won't fit in the pockets. Uh, no, nope, like mm -hmm. uh, one and three quarter balls. Yeah. And look at Rudy about to catch up here. Boy, this, this is um, going to be a hill-hill match. It'll be big. I'm telling you, Rudy's no slouch. I should have, mm. I should have bet a dollar with you. Because <laughs> you like Marcos. I do. Yeah, but I tell you what, Rudy's going to have the advantage because it's his break. And he can run out. He well, can look, break the run. Just, he just did run out. Yeah. Oh, here we go. All hill, right. hill. Well, this is a fun match, huh? He just run out. Who's the one that uh, scratched, knocked the ball off the table? Well, that was Rudy. Mm -hmm. Yes. He broke and went flying. Yeah. But, uh... Mm -hmm. 
He seems to be unaffected by it. He's racked up another game. Well, if I was Hill Hill, I think I'd try to keep the ball on the table. I wouldn't worry about a big bang. Yeah, yeah. you know, you almost <laughs> you almost better off playing like a safety break here. Yeah, if, yeah. If the breaks, yeah, if the breaks not going for you in a match like this, you don't want to you don't want to try anything crazy. So let's see. He breaks dry, leaves Marcos a tough cut up the rail on the one ball. How many players do we have left? Okay, guys, we got 20 players left in this 64 field single elimination race to eight tournament here at the beautiful Plush Pocket in Northridge, California. Rush to Plush. Whitmer, Hefeweizen, Negra Modelo, Dos Equis, and Foster's Lager on tap. And if you're lucky, uh, they might even fish around the refrigerator and find a can or two of Guinness. Hmm. Well, there he goes. Oh. Wow. It's Hill Hill, and that's the last thing we want to see is the ball knocked off the table because we have two run-out players playing here. He wanted to break out that 5-9 and he missed it. <laughs> play pool while I'm commentating? What? Oh, oh. <laughs> if you take the 118 bleed pool. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Make That's sure you not, get on. I, I, I don't consider that fun. I make like sure you get off on the 405. I like every shot difficult. And exit Nordoff. <laughs> Take Nordoff to Balboa and Balboa to Parthenia. You're here. Right on to Kona. Right by the Kentucky Fried Chicken. And the Rite Aid. If you're taking the 101, you want to get off at. What do you want to do? You want if you take the 101 here, you got to take the 101 to the. You have to get to 405. Yeah. yeah. You got to get to the 405. Get off on Nordoff. Nordoff. I get off in Roscoe when I come here and turn right on Balboa. That's well, how I do. Bob gets off of Roscoe. <laughs> I go by the old Budweiser plant. Yeah, you go mm -hmm. by the old Budweiser plant, but I get off on Nordoff. <laughs> Is that the hillbilly turnoff? <laughs> That's the hillbilly turnoff. <laughs> <laughs> Get off at the Nordoff exit. <laughs> Nordoff's great, buddy. Take Nordoff to Balboa. Take Balboa to Parthenia. Be sure to pick up some honey wings at KFC. And actually, they got hot dogs here too. So uh, I got they got like uh, five or six plasma screens going. You still in it? Paulo Perica still in this. It's going to be Jimmy Woo versus who's next? Jimmy Woo versus who? I heard it. Can I you forgot. find out from Ron? I forgot. I heard it. Derek Kim Ooh. and Jimmy Woo are playing okay. next. Now that's going to be another good match. Well, they played each other lots of times, so they're very comfortable with yeah. each other. Marcos, this is a tough shot. He's got he's got the five ball in the corner, but I I, I don't know, man. It's, I don't know how to play that. Whoever makes this ball wins. I think so. Oh. He played it safe. What did he do? He played a three rail <laughs> bank. That was really strange. He didn't want to scratch. That's why he did that. 
That was no, he had a I mean, chance to go in the side about, pocket. What about playing a soft stop shot and leaving mm -hmm. the cue behind the nine? Yeah, well, that could be worked too. What about that shot? Well, you don't have to worry about shape this time. He just has to make that ball. <laughs> Dion in 309. <laughs> I'm about as clueless as you are, buddy. That's exactly what I was saying. He could hit that dang shot, the stop, the stop shot behind a nine yeah. ball. I don't know how Ruben can make a mistake here. I think it's Ruben. very hard. His name's Rudy. Rudy. <laughs> Ruben can make a mistake, but I don't know about Rudy. <laughs> Because this is tense there. Tell them they can all settle. Just settle down. He drifts behind Who, that seven. Who's saying it's loud? She is. Oh, well, you are. Okay. <laughs> okay, Rudy's. Rudy's wanted, left himself. He wanted to know who the hillbilly here, was. So that's what he was looking for. <laughs> You know, Rudy's just got to Rudy's just got to stroke this in with a little bit of speed. Just got to make it. Not pretty, too it's fast. Pretty, looks pretty straight. It looks pretty straight, doesn't it, Barbara? Yeah, yeah. He's not totally straight, but you know, he's jacking up. There, that's that's probably the way to do it. It is, but don't miss. Oh, you do miss. Oof! Wow! Wow! Okay, he left it okay. That was he left it okay. Um, Dion on. I don't know if he's straight or 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 gay or not, but that'll bank. That ball will bank. <laughs> yeah, he was straight on the seven. <laughs> Is he straight? Yeah, yeah, we're comfortable with that. Yeah, I've I've had you beat me with that shot before. Actually, you know. Dionon has a good point. I think this I think this ball will bank pretty easily in the corner pocket. And I, I think he's got no other choice. Actually he has to bank it. Okay. No, he well, played there it I safe. go. Talking again. That's what you know, don't oh. <laughs> That is not good from Marcos <laughs> That's Rodriguez. Not good. Well, it looks like Ruben <laughs> is gonna make this one. <laughs> Rudy. <laughs> Oh, all, right. Um, wow. all right. What a match. Marcos Rodriguez, a great sport there. Rudy, Comes to, sh to shake thing. the hand of uh, Rudy Carrar, who, uh, who actually came back from a 6-3 deficit. 6-3, I believe. Wow, what a match to that was. Then take it to the hill, 7-7, seven, seven, and win. Amazing comeback. And stay tuned, guys. We're going to have another match coming up right now. Another terrific match. POV pool between Jimmy Woo and Derek Kim. Uh -huh. And we'd like.